Hey, what is going on everybody? My name is Yen, and today we're out here in the beautiful city of Boise to talk about some of my favorite tech items that have come out in 2019. It's just such a beautiful day today, so I decided to come out, share this with you guys, and uh, yeah, let's get it. Let me tell you this, let me tell you right now, your exquisite kiss still burning. Didn't know I missed this fashion in life, now I'm addicted somehow. Let me tell you why, what is up with your smile, it's impossible. So the first piece of tech I wanted to talk about is actually something I think is really helpful. This is the RAV Power File Hub. I actually have it right here. Now this device is going to broadcast a wireless signal to nearby devices that's going to allow you to access whatever is plugged into the drive. So whether it be an external hard drive or a flash drive, an SD card. As you guys can see, there's an Ethernet port as well, so you can use this as a wireless travel router. Especially if you do like video or photo editing on the go and you don't want to carry a bunch of dongles if you have like a new laptop or an iPad or something like that. This is going to allow you to wirelessly access everything from any Wi-Fi enabled device. So if you want to post photos from your camera to Instagram, you can instantly transfer it to your phone just like that. If you ever find yourself stuck in a situation where you don't have a particular adapter, this thing can be a lifesaver. All right, next up, I want to talk about the Ugreen Apple Watch Charger. This is really nothing too complicated. It's just an Apple Watch Charger without the cable. You plug it directly into a USB charging brick or a USB port that supplies power, and you're good to go. It's so much easier to carry this around than that big old awkward cable. I'll have a link to this and the rest of the stuff in this video down below. All right, next up, I want to talk about some cases by the company at Rhino Shield. Huge shout out to them for sending these out. If you're looking for a sturdy, well-built, well-designed iPhone case, these are the way to go. They have so many different designs you could choose from, and on top of that, you can customize it. Like, I have their button pack here, and you can swap out the buttons to, like, Carl Conrad colors. Boy, that's a mouthful. Or if you feel like a baller, get that MKBHD black and red up in here. Oh, by the way, they're offering a special discount code, iAppleGeek. If you apply that at checkout, then you'll get an extra 10% off of your order. I'll have more information in the description. By the way, none of this is sponsored by any of these companies. I just think their stuff is great. All right, next up, I want to talk about a battery bank that I've been using for a couple of months now. And this is the Hyperjuice by the Sanho Corporation. This is a massive, massive battery that has the power to juice up your 15-inch MacBook Pro. It has two USB-C ports, one with 60 watts out and the other with 100, which is absolutely ridiculous. And then it adds another USB-A port. So yeah, you can charge your MacBook at full speed with this battery, and then you can fast charge your iPhone, and then you can charge up your iPad at the same time. The only downside is that it is a little bit bulky, and it does have a power cap for when you have a bunch of devices connected to avoid overheating, but honestly, it's still all around a great power bank. All right, so next up, I wanna talk about a little tiny charger by Anchor. You guys heard of them before. I've talked about them before. This is the PowerPort Atom 1. This charger is going to output at 30 watts, which means if you have a MacBook Air or a 12 inch MacBook, you'll be able to charge your laptop at full speed. I think it's absolutely ridiculous how you can have this much power in a little tiny charger that's that's almost the size of your phone charger. It does use USB-C as a connection port, so you can fast charge your iPhone. And by the way, you can use this to power up the Hyperjuice battery because that thing takes 30 watt inputs. So if you keep this in a bag or in your car or something like that, this will provide a lot of extra power on the go in a convenient size. Let me know if any of these caught your eye in particular. And also let me know what you guys think about this kind of video. I'm trying out something new and uh, if you guys like it, definitely hit that like button and let me know in the comments. That would be awesome. And I'll see you guys in the next one.